amazing Incredible. man. Already raised so much and wanted yes. to raise another three million. I know, amazing, isn't it? Oh, well done to Neil Pearce. Uh, right, we have got a bank holiday coming up. We have, and yes. And what does that mean? Well, obviously, it means mixed weather, doesn't <laughs> it? Uh, but we are going to see warmer temperatures as we head towards Friday and the weekend. Temperatures could be up in the high teens. Let's take a look at your weather pictures, though. Ming Mok photographed cloudy skies in Cranbourne earlier today. This is from Sue Craig's Irwin, who sent us this shot from Amersham. And a peacock to brighten things up in North Battersea, captured by Lorraine Lambeth. Today we've had large areas of cloud, a little bit of brightness here and there, one or two very light showers. Let's take a look at spring as a whole. It's been cooler than average, more rain compared to average in some places, but turning warmer as we head through Friday and into the bank holiday weekend. A fairly cloudy scene was seen in Verwood by Sean, one of our weather watchers, and this cloudy scene, a little bit of brightness in the distance, was in Oxford photographed by Rebecca. So as we head through the day tomorrow, there will be a lot of cloud. We'll see some heavy rain during the second part of the day and maybe some brightness in the morning, but that will be fleeting because the cloud will start to increase. It's quite a cloudy night tonight. There will be one or two clear spells here and there, and it should be mainly dry with temperatures dropping away to around three or four Celsius. So a cool start to the day tomorrow, but not as chilly as recent mornings. Lots of cloud initially. That cloud will thicken further. And during the second part of the morning, we'll start to see rain nudge its way in from the southwest. Moving north and eastwards, that could be very heavy and also persistent. Some quite torrential downpours are a possibility even the chance of the old rumble of thunder with a high of 13 degrees. Temperatures a degree below the seasonal average. So for the coastal forecast tomorrow between Selseyville and Lyme Regis, the winds are southeast 3 to 5, veering southwest 4 to 6, and the sea state is slight occasionally moderate. So tomorrow night there will be a lot of cloud. The rain will eventually clear. Patchy drizzle is still a possibility during the early hours of Friday morning. There will be a breeze coming in from the southwest bringing some very mild conditions in. So lows tomorrow night of 10 to 11 Celsius. Friday starts on a fairly cloudy note. There will be some patchy drizzle from time to time. That cloud will start to thin and break as the day progresses with this ridge of high pressure starting to build in from the southwest. So we'll see brighter skies develop through Friday allowing temperatures to shoot up potentially to around 17 to 18 degrees. 18 degrees over the weekend as well. Saturday should be mainly dry. There could be a few showers, first of all, in the morning. The old rumble of thunder on Sunday. The showers more frequent for western areas. Maybe some showers on bank holiday Monday, but mainly dry Tuesday and Wednesday. Nick? How many times do we talk about a, a mixed bag? Oh, exactly. Nearly, nearly forgot we're in uh, HD, aren't we? This glorious Technicolor. Well, you know what they say, the camera adds pounds. It also adds wrinkles now. Oh, gosh, I'll have to get rid of my <laughs> wrinkles and crinkles, iron them out. We'll see you tomorrow at half six. Thanks for your company. Good night. Good night.